Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Weiss and this is the continuation video of Capital Structure. In the previous videos, we have seen the above three different approaches. Now, in this video, we are going to see the fourth one that is Modigliani Miller approach. It has two different models. That is uh, the first one where there are corporate taxes and the second one where there are no corporate taxes. We will see the numerical problem for each and every one separately and you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now in this video we are going to see the first model that is where there are corporate taxes according to MM approach. Now let's see the problem. See before we see the numerical problem let us try to understand briefly what is MM approach. See Modigliani Miller explained the interrelationship between cost of capital, capital structure and value of the firm under two different conditions. One is with corporate tax and second one without corporate tax. Okay. Now let's see the numerical problem for the first one that is where there are corporate taxes. See before we see the numerical problem let us try to understand the formula then we can go for the numerical problem. Okay. See under MM approach when there are corporate taxes the firm is classified into two categories. The first one is unlevered and the next one is levered. Unlevered means uh, there is no debt, the full of equity. The entire capital structure is full of equity. That kind of firm is called unlevered. Levered means uh, both the mixture will be there. That is equity and debt will be there. In order to find out the market value of the levered firm, first we need to find out value of unlevered firm. Okay. So first you have to calculate this one that is market value of the unlevered firm. The formula is earnings after tax divided by equity capitalization rate that is KE. KE stands for cost of equity or equity capitalization rate. Both are same meaning only. Okay. So earnings after tax divided by equity capitalization rate. So after calculating this you will be getting market value of unlevered firm with that you can go for the second calculation that is market value of levered firm the formula is market value of unlevered firm after finding this only you can go for the second step so market value of unlevered firm plus tax rate into debt okay because uh, levered means both equity and debt will be there no so that whatever debt amount is given in the problem just take that value into tax rate. So multiply with that, you will be getting one value. No, add that value along with the market value of unlevered firm. Then you will be getting the market value of levered firm. Now let us see the numerical problem for better understanding. See the problem. Two firms A and B are identical in all respects except the degree of leverage. Firm A does not use any debt in its financing. That is unlevered company. The second one, firm B has 9% debentures of rupees 5 lakhs. That is levered firm. The first one is unlevered. Unlevered means only equity. Levered means equity plus debt. Okay. And EBIT of the firms, rupees 2,50,000. Equity capitalization rate, that is KE, 12%. Tax rate, 40%. So here we have two different firms, identical firm, except the degree of leverage. Firm A is full of equity. Firm B is equity plus debenture. Okay. With this information, they are asking us to find out the value of the firm using MM approach. Okay. Now, let's see the calculation. See the calculation. First, we are going to find out the market value of unlevered firm. Unlevered firm means only equity. So, this is the formula. Earnings available after tax divided by cost of equity. Okay. See the problem. See the problem. First, we need to find out the earnings after tax because uh, KE is given in the problem. Cost of equity, 12%. So, we need to calculate earnings after tax. How much earnings? 2,50,000. This is the earnings before interest and tax. But we need earnings after tax. So, how much tax? 40%. No. So, 40% on 2,50,000, 1 lakh. So, subtract tax from earnings you will be getting earnings after tax. See the calculation. Earnings EBIT how much? 2,50,000. 
and tax rate is 40 percentage on earnings 1 lakh KE how much 12 percentage it is given in the problem okay so 12 into 100 answer is 12 lakh 50,000 so this is the value of unlevered firm with this you can calculate the levered firm value okay so what is the formula value of firm a how much 12 lakh 50,000 12 lakh 50,000 plus tax rate into debt value see the problem firm b that is a levered firm has 9 percentage debentures of rupees 5 lakh okay so 5 lakh into tax rate is 40 percentage okay so tax rate 40 percentage debt amount is 5 lakhs so 5 lakh into into 40 percentage then 12 lakh 50,000 plus how much 2 lakh 12 lakh 50,000 plus 2 lakhs total 14 lakhs 50,000 this is the way to calculate market value of unlevered firm and levered firm okay now let's see the second one see the problem the following information relates to abc limited the company is an all equity company and ebit is 25 lakhs there are no corporate taxes and payout is 100 percentage there is no retention whatever profit everything is declared as dividend 100 percent payout if the company desires it can raise debt of rupees 80 lakhs at 12 percentage interest okay so the company now the present situation is all equity if the company desires it can raise debt up to 80 lakhs at the rate of 12 percentage interest shareholders required rate of return is 10 percentage this is cost of equity okay 10 percentage then using mm model you are required to calculate the firm's market value the firm's value of equity the firm's leverage cost of equity okay now let's see the solution see the solution first we need to find out the value of the firm that is unlevered unlevered means only equity there will be no debt okay and this model is uh, where there are no corporate tax this is the formula earnings after tax divided by cost of equity here no tax no so whatever ebit everything is belongs to equity shareholders because here there is no debt so that there will be no interest the entire ebit is belongs to equity shareholders okay so ebit divided by ke see the problem the present capital structure of the company is all equity and no corporate tax okay so that the entire ebit belongs to equity shareholders because there is no debt no so entire amount belongs to equity shareholder so this amount divided by cost of equity 10 percentage the required rate of return is 10 percentage no this is the cost of equity 10 percentage now see the calculation value of firm unlevered firm earnings after tax divided by ke cost of equity say how much earnings the entire ebit 25 lakhs 25 lakhs divided by cost of equity 10 percentage no so 10 into 100 you will be getting 2 crore 50 lakhs so this is the value of unlevered firm see the problem we have calculated the market value of the firm the next one is the firm's value of equity see the calculation say the second calculation is we need to find out the market value of equity so already we have calculated market value of the firm how much 2 crore 50 lakhs okay and how much debt it is given in the problem see the problem see if the company desires it can raise debt of rupees 80 lakhs okay so this is the debt amount so this amount we can subtract from the total value of the firm in order to find out the market value of equity see the calculation this is the total value of the firm minus debt you will be getting the market value of equity how much 1 crore 70 lakhs okay so we have calculated total value of the firm 
and market value of equity. Now see the problem. So far we have calculated the firm's market value, the firm's value of equity. Now we are going to calculate the firm's leverage cost of equity. Okay. See the calculation. Now we need to find out KE that is leverage cost of equity. So here in the capital structure we have equity and debt. Okay. So what is the interest percentage? See the problem. The company can raise debt of rupees 80 lakhs at 12 percentage interest rate. Okay. So this you have to calculate for interest. See this is the formula to find out leverage cost of equity. The formula is earnings available to equity shareholders divided by market value of equity into 100. So market value of equity is we have calculated now how much 1 crore 70 lakhs. So we need to find out earnings available to equity shareholders. So how much EBIT? See, EBIT is given in the problem. How much? 25 lakhs. Now we have in our capital structure, we have equity and debt. Okay. So we need to calculate interest. So how much? 12 percentage on 80 lakhs. You will be getting 9 lakh 60 thousand. Balance. 15 lakhs 40,000. So, this is the earnings available to equity shareholders because in this model there is no corporate tax. Okay. So, this is the amount available to equity shareholders. Earnings before interest and tax minus interest. The entire amount belongs to equity shareholders. So, divided by market value of equity. So, how much market value of equity? See the previous calculation 1 crore 70 lakhs into 100. 15 lakhs 40,000 divided by 1 crore 70 lakhs into 100. What is the answer? 9.06 percentage. So, this is the leveraged cost of equity. Okay. So, this is the way to calculate market value of the firm and market value of the equity and leveraged cost of equity. Okay. See, so far, we have seen the four different approaches to capital structure. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.